we will now discuss the nervous systems in various animals in animals and after we are done with all other animals then we will start with the nervous system in case of human beings so amongst animals we are talking about invertebrates first sponges in sponges there are no neurons that means neurons are absent and they have some other mechanism of uh, getting the stimulus from the surrounding that is in case of sponges the second category organisms like hydra that is cylindrates in case of hydra there is a network of neurons which is known as nerve plexus there is a network of neurons and this network of neurons is known as nerve plexus but they have a mechanism or they have a neurons which will help them in control and coordination the third category of animal that we are talking of are platyhelminths especially planaria planaria it is a free living platyhelminth and it has two lateral nerve cords which join in the anterior part to form a rudimentary brain so there are two nerve cords which join to form a rudimentary brain a rudimentary brain that is in case of planaria the th fourth category earthworms that is annelida group in annelida or in earthworms specifically there is one ventral nerve cord one ventral nerve cord and paired segmental ganglia and paired segmental ganglia ganglia term is given to collection of neurons so ganglions are actually collection of neurons so many neurons they get collected in the form of a mass and that mass is known as a ganglion so there are segmental ganglia next category is of insects insects have well developed nervous system so they have well developed nervous system and amongst invertebrates they are the ones which have very well developed or rather most developed nervous system we will be talking about the nervous system in case of cockroach to understand this well developed nervous system so this is where we are talking of nervous system of cockroach in cockroaches the body is divisible into head thorax and abdomen there is a small tube like structure which is known as esophagus just above the esophagus there is a large ganglion so if i draw this say for example this is the esophagus there is a ganglion which is above it and there is a ganglion which is below it so we are drawing the one which is upper one this one upper one which is a larger ganglion it is actually formed by fusion of three ganglia this is known as supra eso phageal ganglion and it so ganglion it is formed by fusion of three ganglia and this is actually called the brain in case of cockroaches below esophagus there is a smaller ganglion and this is known as sub esophageal ganglion 
subesophageal ganglia. These two, one is above the esophagus, one is below the esophagus. The one which is above the esophagus is bigger. It is formed by fusion of three ganglia by fusion of three ganglia. This is supraesophageal. And below the esophagus is a smaller one which is called subesophageal. These two are connected by a paired connection and these are known as circumesophageal commissures. This is circumesophageal commissures. So they connect the upper and the lower ganglia. Now after this, what we are drawing is the outer body structure so that we remember where is what happening in case of these cockroaches. So say this is prothoracic segment, then thorax, there are three thoracic segments. So prothoracic, mesothoracic, metathoracic, three thoracic segments and 10 abdominal segments. So let us make these abdominal segments. This is slightly bigger, let me make it smaller, two. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So these are 10 abdominal segments. This is prothoracic segment, this is mesothoracic segment and this one is metathoracic. Then abdomen. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and tenth. So there are ten abdominal segments and three thoracic segments. Now the ganglion which are present. One in each thoracic segment. And these ganglion they are actually formed by fusion of two. So we normally draw them like this. This is one in prothoracic segment. This is one in mesothoracic. This is one in metathoracic. So these are segmental ganglia and they are formed by the fusion of two. And connecting all these ganglia is a double nerve cord. So there is a nerve cord which is connecting all these ganglia. So in case of cockroaches, supraesophageal formed by fusion of three ganglia which is also equivalent to brain, subesophageal, which is a smaller ganglia, then three in thoracic region. So there are three thoracic ganglia and there are six abdominal ganglia. There are six abdominal ganglia and these six are located in first five abdominal segments. Again, they are formed by the fusion of two. So one, two, second segment, third, fourth, and fifth. Sixth segment is not having any ganglia. There is a ganglia which is present in the seventh segment and it is bigger. It is believed that it is formed by the fusion of many ganglia. So this is the seventh one in the seventh segment. So, three thoracic in pro, meso and thoracic segments, six abdominal in first, in first five abdominal segment and the sixth ganglion, six abdominal ganglion is in the seventh segment. And all of them are connected by this double nerve cord. And from each ganglia arise the fibers which supply to the parts or structures in each of the segment. So these are the nerve fibers which are arising from these segmental ganglia. So this is how the nervous system is. Now, from the supraesophageal ganglia arise three pairs of nerves. And these, I'm erasing this because I need some space to write down the labels. So there are three. One, from the supraesophageal. This is known as antenary. 
antennary as the name tells us it is supplying two antenna the second one goes into the eye it is known as optic nerve antennary nerve optic nerve and the third one is known as labrofrontal this goes to the upper lip it is called labrofrontal so here we will write down the name from supra esophageal ganglion there are three one antennary nerve antennary nerve is going to antenna second is optic nerve it is going to eyes that is the compound eyes that they have and third is labrofrontal it is going to the upper lip upper lip that is the labrum so these are the three which are arising from the, and they are in pairs so one is going to be here then the next one and third so there are three pairs of nerves which are arising from the supraesophageal from the subesophageal arise four pairs of nerves so from here we would have one two three and four pairs of nerves one on the side second third and fourth so let me erase this now circum esophageal commissure and we label these nerves here this is mandibular as the name tells us mandibular is going to the mandible the next one is maxillary going to maxilla the third one is labial which is going to the lower lip and the last one is cervical which is going to the neck region so from supraesophageal ganglion which is the brain arise three nerves one going to antenna which is known as antennary nerve second to eye known as optic nerve and third to upper lip which is known as labrofrontal because upper lip is also known as labrum from the subesophageal ganglia arise four pairs of nerves going to mandibular region so this is mandibular nerve then maxilla so this is maxillary nerve labial nerve because lower lip is known as labia and then to the cervical region so by looking at this now when they compare it with the other animals this system is very well developed now it can be divided into our categories like central nervous system we are talking of insects so insects have central nervous system cns it comprises of supra or we can write brain here in short brain because we have already written that supraesophageal is known as brain peripheral nervous system it is made up of all these nerve fibers nerve fibers and autonomous nervous system autonomous nervous system is again made up of four different ganglion these ganglion they are present at different regions one is above the brain it is known as supracerebral one is behind the brain it is uh, called hypocerebral then one is on the crop it is known as inluvial and other is known as proventricular so there are four ganglion which make autonomous nervous system it is cerebral then hypocerebral then inluvial and fourth one i'm writing here is pro 
ventricular. So these four ganglia, they make autonomous nervous system. CNS is made up of the brain, that is supraesophageal, and, sorry, the nerve cord, this nerve, double nerve cord, nerve cord. PNS, all the nerve fibers which arise from these ganglia and autonomous is made up of four different ganglia. They are located at different regions. So, in insects, as compared to other organisms, other invertebrates, the nervous system is very well developed. And this is how the arrangement is. There are total nine ganglia. 3 in the thoracic region and 6 in the abdominal region apart from these two main. One is above the esophagus, other is below the esophagus. So after understanding the nervous system of cockroaches, from the next segment we will now take up human nervous system.